maybe Bertie made a relatively shy start at first, um, but in the more introverted pieces, the sound he got from the start, like the Humperdinck Overture, has been wonderful. And in the days with the orchestra of the 18th century, uh, he was remarkably fine, uh, great sound, and what I like about him, he talks with his hands. It is rare that one encounters a conductor with whom heart, head, and hands are in working completely in concert. That combined with a, both a 30,000 foot view and a very detailed view make this conductor in particular something very special. Uh, this conductor was very elegant, very charming, nice to work with, uh, definitely got great sound from the orchestra, talked about character a lot, which I think was really necessary. Technically extremely equipped, everything was possible, and the orchestra understood well uh, what it was meaning for the pieces. It has a good contact with the orchestra, is watching them well, uh, is making music with them, uh, is asking a lot of information to them what they can do, and they respond well to what the candidate is asking. Really impressive with his, uh, his knowledge of the piece and his, his giving it over to the orchestra. The, the stage presence of this conductor was amazing. Um, so many wheels and uh, so many detail. It showed really with the uh, with the body language and uh, with uh, with the technique, and it was pretty yeah spectacular. What I appreciate about Bertie is that you sense that there's a deep internal knowledge and understanding of the piece and the sound of the piece and he has this ability to communicate it with gesture uh, which is a wonderful gift for a conductor.